Today we're down here in Dodge City, Kansas, testing low pressure versus high pressure steam heating of rail cars. Stay tuned. Today we brought the SF50 enclosed trailer package. We designed this system for heating rail cars. It is a 50 boiler horsepower, 2 million BTU, low pressure steam generator. We're up against a boiler that is three times the boiler horsepower and 10 times the pressure. You might be thinking our small little system isn't gonna stand a chance. Well, let's see how these compare. So all of these cars with steam coils built in have pressure ratings listed on the car. What's the max pressure it can handle of steam? This car specifically is 25 PSI max pressure. If you were to put a higher pressure steam to that car, you could risk damaging the steam coils inside. All right, so on the bottom of these cars, you have a two inch pipe inlet and a two inch pipe outlet. This is where the steam comes in. Um, and your steam and condensate comes out. Our system is going to be injecting uh, 212 to 240 degree low pressure steam, whereas a high pressure boiler would be more in that three to 400 degree steam range going in. One thing that is always kind of a concern with quite a few products out there is something called scorching. If you apply too high of a temperature into these coils, the outer part uh, that's against the tank gets too hot. Uh, that can burn the product or change the color or damage it in many different ways to a point where it's not usable anymore. Uh, so using a lower temperature steam is a lot safer and has a lot less risk of damaging it like that. pressure boiler not only are you gonna have a lot bigger installation cost with all this hard piping and insulating and all the safety components that you're gonna have to do with this type of installation but you're also gonna have to worry about your government regulations that you need to abide by and most places are gonna require you to have a certified boiler operator on staff one of my favorite things about dealing with low pressure steam instead of high pressure steam is the fact of how much safer it is to deal with. When you're dealing with a low pressure steam, if you're about four, three, four feet away from the steam, the, the temperature of the steam is so cool that it won't burn you anymore at that distance. However, high pressure steam is a completely different story. The hotter the steam gets, the less visible it is and the more dangerous it is. When you get up to high pressure steam, you can't see it anymore and it is gonna scald and burn you. When you're using steam for heating, most of the heat transfer occurs during the phase change from steam back to water. It is normally recommended to use the lowest temperature steam for your heating application because it is a lot safer. When you're dealing with high pressure steam, you need to ensure that it's insulated properly as bare components like this are going to be 300 plus degrees. After reviewing the data, our testing results ended up being very similar. We were actually within about a half a degree difference between high pressure and low pressure steam heating. The temp rise was a little bit low because we were dealing with a very heavy product. Uh, corn syrup is about 11.5 pounds per gallon, so it takes quite a bit longer to heat up than other products might. But I think it's pretty obvious that when you're dealing with uh, products that need to be heated up to less than 200 degrees Fahrenheit, low pressure steam is going to be your best solution.